Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Asshole Consultant, how are you kids doing? Something happened to my camera. I might have to get another one. This thing's almost 10 years old. Uh, hello, Mr. Clary. What, Clary, what non-U.S. country should I focus reconnaissance to immigrate to if I'm a member of the Libertarian Party living in Minnesota? Dude, it has nothing to do with you being a Libertarian Party living in Minnesota. Do you, are you sick and tired of socialism creeping in? Are you sick and tired of the Orwellian thought police and speech police in the United States? That's, that's, then, then it doesn't matter what you're political, then it's like, yeah, you probably want to move. I'm pro-Second Amendment. You're going to find a problem there because most countries don't allow guns. Pro-drug legalization, pro-freedom, pro-U.S. Constitution type person. I hate the snow. All right, that's the most helpful variable you've given me. I'm partial to Las Vegas, which is still part of the United States. 29 debt-free, have savings, and I've read your books for the most part. I've traveled to Tokyo, Seoul, and Hong Kong recently. I'm in the process of leaving the transit industry because of safety concerns. I have reservations about settling in Henderson, Nevada, Vegas. Because of Democrats, contact me if you have further questions, comment on countries you have visited. Dude, I've only visited uh, a handful of countries. Um, I, can, I can only give you what I know from economics and political research from 20-odd you know, years ago. Uh, and in general, what I know now. If you are looking for warmth, um, now, you're not going to get this list of everything you want. All right, Like Thailand, I don't think you're going to be able to carry an AR-15. Um, the Philippines, same thing, but they're warm and they're corrupt, but it's cheap. And I think they're probably, well, not after Durante, <laughs> they're not pro drug. I, I, you know, I'm just going to give you where you're going to be left the fuck alone for the most part in places for you to go and conduct further reconnaissance to find out whether or not it's worthwhile. <clears throat> All right. Southeast Asia, Laos, Cambodia, um, some people like Vietnam for some reason, even though it's a communist country. If you haven't done Singapore, please go ahead and do it. <clears throat> the problem is, Singapore, you need to be very rich. I've heard good things about Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur. No, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's Malaysia. Jakarta is Indonesia. Indonesia as well. They might have some issues, though, there. You know, they're not going to allow drugs. They're not allow uh, guns. Predominantly Muslim country. Um, what else? Uh... So that's Southeast Asia uh, in general. Uh, you may want to look at Israel. Um, it's, you know, you're not going to get everything, but they kind of like their people. They are not all about like, boy, we can't get rid of you. We can't wait, get rid, uh, wait to get rid of you people. Uh, and oh, by the way, everybody come in and you know, fuck shit up and free things for everybody. Um, what else? I can pull up. There's, there's not a lot that's going to fit your bill. It's because you, you want a warm climate. I'd recommend the Baltics, but they get cold. Poland, that gets cold. Hungary, that gets cold. World map. You could look at Central America, but that's highly corrupt, and they don't like Americans there. All right. Chile. Something to consider. Belize is one that people talk about because they speak English, and it's warm. They don't like Americans. We're going to talk about Southeast Asia. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm like looking at the equator. There's not much. <laughs> you could do like the, the poor vagabond and go hang out in India, I guess. It's warm there too, but it's not exactly the greatest standards of living. Yeah, you don't want to go to the Middle East. It gets cold there. There's Israel. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You can look at islands like the Bahamas, Bermuda, Cayman Islands, but um, you gotta be rich and you'll get island fever where there's just nothing to do, you're on an island. Uh, I'm sorry dude, there really isn't that much on the, on the menu. Um, yeah, that's about it, I'm sorry. Maybe the New Zealand, but they're getting cucked. Now, there, there really isn't a lot. Now, if you, if you said, oh, I'm, I'm willing to go other places, you know, it doesn't have to be warm. Yeah, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, um, some parts of uh, Central Europe, 
Eastern Europe, uh, Poland and Hungary particularly, but there are others. Moldova, I've heard, is nice. Um, so maybe you could do a tour, do some reconnaissance over in Eastern Europe, see if you could tolerate the cold. I'd check out Belize and maybe other places in Central America. <clears throat> if you want to do some island hopping in the Caribbean, you can give that a shot. And maybe do a tour of, you know, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos. Um, yeah, Malaysia and Indonesia, you could do that. And in the Philippines, you could do that all in one shot, be a long, a lot of island hopping there. But that's it. That's all I got, man. Those are the general areas I'd go and check out. Um, yeah, that's it. There's, there's not a lot. Most places suck. It's why I probably will stay in the United States. Why I still like Vegas. I like Vegas a lot. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.